Hello everyone, this is David Bietel Benditres and welcome to the Mandragon's Cave. Today we are gonna be drawing Fujitora from One Piece. Uh, this is uh, one of the new admirals and he's supposed to be a good guy, like a smoker. I want to use this time that we are still in a, in a break and we still have the, um, the three weeks break ahead of us. Uh, we are in the middle now more or less and uh, I want I have wanted to talk about Fujitora for a while uh, because I think he is uh, tied. He has a lot of connections to uh, to Vegapunk and to the saga that we are now in, in Neckhead basically. Uh, I think this basically I want to go through Fujitora's character as a character, as a person and as a good guy, uh, as a good marine, and I want to talk about the connections with um, with everything a little bit, and and, and the rebellious that 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 that, uh, that he has, the, the rebel in him that he has. So, uh, I have a video about smoker that I'm gonna put up here, and in that video about the smoker, I I talk about him. Smoker arriving to Egghead and uh, helping Luffy to escape in the last minute because the Gorusei attack, because the Marines attacks and everything, and basically making a Marine Rebellion. Uh, a Marine Rebellion, it is gonna happen. It is already happening with Sword. Uh, it is already happening with Fujitora. So basically what we see in the One Piece world at the moment with the Marines is that the good guys are taking the reins and they are starting to speak their voice and say their, say their opinions about everything. And that is very good and very interesting because we have Kobe as a character and, and Kobe I think is gonna end up being the top top of, of the Marines uh, and surpass his own uh, uh, imagination regarding uh, where he's gonna be in, in, uh, in some years time or in months time in this case. So Fujitora, uh, if you have a look to the Smoker video first, Fujitora, I think, should show up in Egghead at the very end of Egghead. I think Fujitora is the support that Smoker is going to bring uh, to Egghead. Uh, I think is the higher rank because, you know, having only Vice Admiral level, like a Smoker is, uh, and, and, um, and other Vice Admirals we have. That is not enough. Uh, we see uh, Smokers struggle the whole time with the concept of uh, I'm not enough, my uh, position is not enough to, uh, to do what I need to do. Uh, and then you see him as well in previous sagas admiring Fujitora and admiring the things that he's doing. And I think we are going to see a little bit more of that. I think we need to see a little bit more of that. We need to see this connection of good guys being kind of completely connected. And it will make sense for me if a Smoker is doing some acts of rebellion facing his friends uh, like um, other Vice Admirals, facing his friends uh, in this whole saga, in this uh, Gorusei encounter, and and then uh, using the awakening, as I say in the video, using the awakening for to aid Luffy in his escape, and uh, basically taking Fujitora there with him, and Fujitora is gonna be the higher up, the figure that is gonna say no, this is not okay what we've been doing here, and we need to stop this. Uh, I think if you think about it like uh, Kobe crying in Marineford, uh, maybe a Smoker is the one crying here, not crying, but frustrated about everything and saying uh, Tashigi and everything, Dol, everyone, I think the ones that they are his friends, because Dol has very similar character design like, like for him and everything. Uh, these guys are gonna kind of uh, uh, be thinking about what Smoker is saying and uh, and then we need 
the Fujitora uh, arrival and maybe he is sitting in the ship while the smoker is uh, running crazy around the island trying to help Luffy, trying to stop everyone from fighting and uh, everyone is understanding but then we have Fujitora, Fujitora appears there and uh, I think we need this because there is one interesting conversation that they have in the ship and this is after the Rosa that uh, the smoker is uh, basically telling him uh, I wish I could do what you're doing, basically, I have no rank, and uh, you you realize there that basically a smoker is what... Uh, a smoker would like to be what Fujitora is now already. And uh, he is uh, uh, kind of moving towards that point, okay? Just doing some details here. Using purple today because Fujitora represents the purple tiger and uh, he is, uh, uh, well, this animal in the horoscope, we, you know, Oda is using all the time the animals and the colors for, for all of this and uh, with Fujitora we have the purple, so let's do some details, it has this kind of uh, kimono from Wano that I will talk a little bit about that as well in a moment, but First, I want to focus in, 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 in the theory. The theory is, I think he is coming to Egghead uh, at the very end of Egghead with a smoker. Uh, we will see a smoker first and then he will be revealed to be as well on the ship. And uh, the other uh, vice admirals are not going to be able to deny his command. Uh, I think Gorusei needs to disappear from there at some point. Uh, they need to do whatever they have to do in the story and they will leave uh, or they will try to chase them or something and you need to end up the story uh, having a, a higher figure in the marines, like in this case Fujitora, uh, there addressing the marines uh, and saying, uh, yeah, you see what your colleague is saying here, what the smoker is saying, yeah, that's what we need to do. Uh, I think it's very possible as well that he may even face the Gorusei and maybe while the smoker is creating this awakening smoke snake wall or something like that and um, blurring the, the, the view for everyone, so Luffy, etc., they can finally escape at the very end, they can, they can escape completely. And then we are gonna have... Uh, it. I think it may happen, it can be very, very interesting uh, to have uh, Fujitora before, you know, uh, being in, on this side of the smoke screen, facing the Gorusei, saying, oh, uh, some kind of monsters I'm seeing here, and, and he's blind, so some kind of monsters I'm seeing here, or something like that. Uh, I wasn't expecting this from the world, so this incident, the Egghead incident that in my video about Saturn, that I will put about here as well, uh, I thought Saturn is the Egghead incident, and, and whatever is going to happen to Saturn, and I think I'm kind of expanding it, but whatever is going to happen to the Gorusei, and uh, the, the real views of the marines that they are there, that they are scared. You see Bluegrass as well in this last episode, 11-11, uh, that is running around the island with this sea monster that he, she's controlling. Doll is on the back of the sea monster as well, and they are looking at these monsters, this Gorusei fighting and everything, and appearing there, and they are scared. And uh, they represent this with Bluegrass because she's an old woman, and uh, in theory, many years in the in the Marines. Okay, we don't know anything about her, but by the design, this is what Oda is telling you. Okay, so we are gonna make this is gonna be looking a little bit weird, but uh, in the sketch, but this is supposed to be one leg. Okay, and then the other one will make it here, like this, like he is walking towards us in this design from the Rosa design. So I think um, my mind can't uh, make uh, Egghead Saga without Fujitora. Uh, Fujitora has been the person, the character, from the whole One Piece, talking about the Vegapunk, talking about the SSG, talking about the Seraphines the whole time since he's been introduced in the Rosa. And just because of that, uh, my mind can't comprehend uh, uh, Egghead Saga without him. So, 
I don't think he's gonna be a fighter, but he's gonna be a wall, like a smoker uh, screen wall. A, a smoke uh, a screen. So, let's do. Yeah, already. Almost. We have almost all the. All the sketch done here. Okay, we're just walking towards here. I'll make it like this. Okay. I'm gonna pass to start doing some lines with a 0.2 this time. It's looking very nice. Yeah, I think it's looking very nice. <coughs> Let's just start with this part here, because it's very interesting. There's a lot of things going on. You have this beard, has a little, he has a little bit of beard there, and the hair. So, Fujitora is a blind guy, and uh, I think uh, being uh, justice, representing justice, like honest human justice, that is his motto. You know, every one, every one of the admirals has one motto. And his is um, human justice, telling us that he's good. The whole time that he's been shown in the Rosa, he's good. And I think the concept of being blind uh, as well in the One Piece uh, story is because this this famous thing that he said always, no, justice is blind. And uh, in this case, uh, there is something very important said at the very end of the Dre Rosa saga. Uh, he is... Uh, the clan fleet helps Luffy to escape, uh, he attacks, Luffy is defending them and everything, they are fighting, then uh, Harundin grabs him and uh, they escape, basically they escape from Fujitora and Fujitora is very happy, he's laughing, he's smiling there and it's saying, I, I wish I wouldn't have uh, taken my eyes, like, because he, he, he has done this himself because the the cruelty and, and the bad things in the world. So he said, I wish I wouldn't have done this just to be able to see your face. Uh, Mugiwara, L Luffy, basically. He wants to see Luffy's face. And I think it's very important because we have the Marines that they are supposed to be in this story, the bad guys, transforming into good guys. And you are seeing the change with Kobe, with Helmepo, uh, Garp is good as well, Aogiji is good, but they had to do some bad things to be able to have some goodness in, in their story. And then you see a Smoker. The frustration of a Smoker as a character when he's promoted uh, from Captain with the whole Crocodile story, it is very... Uh, very sad, very true, very real in the One Piece world that the, the, the lie is rewarded. Uh, now knowing of this reveal of the, of the demons living in, in, in Marijua. And uh, the lie is rewarded, he is frustrated, and, and, and then Fujitora character comes in the Rosa and he says, I am gonna abolish the Shichibukai, okay? So we have a figure, a marine, a bad guy, supposed to be bad guy, being an admiral, that openly is saying to his friends, well, his friends, his co-workers, his other marines, his everyone there, even to the Flamingo in the saga, to everyone, he's saying, I am gonna abolish uh, the Shichibukai, I'm gonna eradicate this because this is bad. So, uh, uh, Fujitora Isho is, is his name, Isho. He is the character that uh, we go to the Reverie, okay, after, uh, after the Rosa, after everything. We go to the Reverie and he goes and talks with um, King Riku, the guy from the Rosa, the king from the Rosa, and uh, that was heavily affected by the Flamingo rule. And then he goes and talks as well with, uh, with Cobra. And Cobra is the other guy heavily affected with the problems of of a uh, of a Chichibukai. And in this case was uh, Crocodile. Crocodile as well took over basically. He he took over. Uh, Arabasta is kind of a prequel of what Rosa was on before Luffy arrived. If 
Luffy wouldn't have defeated Crocodile. Now we would have the same thing in, in Arabasta like we've seen in the Rosa. So Crocodile, a Shichibukai, a pirate, will be the boss there, the king. And uh, yeah. And all of this, as Fujitora says, is because we, as a Marines, we have allowed uh, these uh, rats, basically, to uh, blackmail us and uh, do with us whatever they want. And he's against it. He's the one mentioning all the time, uh, back upon, back upon this, back upon that, back upon this, back upon that. So he says there is a weapon, the SSG uh, team, they have created this weapon that is gonna make us uh, able to basically uh, cancel the, the contracts that they have with the Shichiukai and uh, we don't need them anymore. And because the chat that he has with these two kings, and because as well the chat that they, well, they, later they propose it in the Reverie, and it is approved. Most of the kings approve that they don't want to see you guys, and they will use Vegapunk's force. This is the Seraphims. We have seen the Seraphims a little bit against um, uh, some of the pirates. Some of the, you know, they go to Boa Hancock Island and they are fighting there. And they fight a little bit. Uh, they fight a little bit. Uh, Blackbeard, uh, Boa Hancock. They fight everyone there. They have destroy, have destroyed the island there and everything. Let's do the finger here. And the whole time that we have seen comments about this um, uh, force, this new force, the Seraphins, we had. Uh, this guy involved. So that's why I say that I think it's a little bit difficult for me to believe that we are going into into the end of the saga and we don't have him. Uh, it will make sense for me a uh, uh, last minute reveal together with together with uh, one second here uh, like this together with the smoker of course and and then Made a little bit this out of place, but now we can change it like this. Okay. Yeah, that is looking good, no? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, as I was saying, for me it will make sense that we have this super powerful guy who openly has been defying uh, the Marines, defying the Crusade, defying the world government, uh, showing up in the most critical moment for the world government at the moment, that is Eket Saga, and having him uh, do something aid to this uh, rebellion that I think uh, Smoker is gonna start. Smoker is gonna do what um, Sword is doing in the shadows. And I do like this. He's gonna do what Sword is doing in the shadows. I don't think Smoker is Sword. I don't think this guy is Sword either. But the intention is the same. It's basically to be uh, the good Marines and to change the Marine from inside. And let's do this. We're gonna do some. This is in, in shade at the back. Okay. Feel free to tell me in the comments what do you think about Fujitora? What do you think uh, of him as a character? If you think he's gonna show up or not, and uh, why he wouldn't show up? And uh, Oda is being very. Very crazy about this saga. He's been he's been revealing a lot of uh, information about everything, and it will make sense as well for a good marine to be there and and do something. And uh, as I said in my smoker video, that I think a smoker needs like a like a turnaround and, and, a, and a showcase of power in in Eket Saga to help Luffy and to reveal reveal. Uh, and, to, and to challenge the Gorusei, the higher power, because he's one of the main characters. Smoker, Kobe, uh, they are one of, them, one of the main characters as well. 
uh, it will make sense that, uh, that they show up now. And there are important characters that have been, uh, as well, I always say, uh, basically, that uh, One Piece has been uh, uh, thought to be only for uh, for five years, and we are already like 27 years in the making, 26, 27 years in the making, and there are characters that were supposed to do something, and I think all the things that Fujitora is doing, it, he was created after everything, and I think this is uh, Smoker's role, uh, from the beginning, so as I think as well that uh, the whole story with Bellamy, Bellamy was meant to do all the things that Kit is doing at the moment and was only one character but Oda split it in two. I think Smoker and Fujitora is the same case, so both represent the same character at different levels in, the, in life. Smoker is here, Fujitora is here, so here he can do things, Smoker here can't do things and he's working, working slowly to go to the level of Fujitora. Uh, I think before he reaches that level of Fujitora, he needs to take action, uh, being backed up by Fujitora. That's why they will show show up together. Uh, we haven't seen Smoker alone uh, ever. He's always with Tashigi. Tashigi is in Ekhet. Uh, that's another clue that is telling you that Smoker may, may show up in Ekhet and how he's never going alone, we have this guy Fujitora, the other good guy, higher than him, that you can ask, oh, where is a smoker? Where is a smoker after all this mess that happened? I think he went to find Fujitora, because Fujitora at the moment is a, a guy that because he did what he did and, and ashamed the Marines in Dre Rosa and apologized publicly to, to, the, to Riku and to everyone there, uh, he made uh, Akainu the boss at now. He made him crazy and he said, you are not going to be able to step in any marine base if you don't bring me uh, Luffy's head and uh, Law's head. And he hasn't done it yet. He said, yes, I will do it, but he hasn't done it yet. So, this is as well like this. It's looking very nice. I like it. Looking very nice, very loose I think today as well, the character, and I think I'm gonna start adding some tongues everywhere. So, kind of, this is kind of the theory I wanted to do today, uh, you know, talking about Fujitora arriving to Egghead and uh, helping, uh, basically helping Smoker in, in, this, in this rebellion, in this massive rebellion that is gonna happen before, before we finish Egghead. And that's my theory. And uh, as well, I want to talk a little bit about him as a character. So, we have uh, this super cool designed character. <coughs> that if you look at him, he is basically a character from Wano. Uh, the kimono, the design, the sword style, the type of, uh, of uh, shoes as well that he's wearing. So you would say, okay, uh, he is from uh, he is from Wano, and uh, he may be related somehow to the story in Wano. Uh, when Aokiji's fight against Akainu in Punk Hazard happened, and uh, when all that story happened, etc., etc., and then we had this, um, the, we had a draft, an internal draft, and. Uh, People that was already marine, high rank marines and everything, they 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 check them up to see who was gonna be the the admirals and decided that this guy uh, Fujitora and Riku Goyo will be the next admirals. So when this happened, so so strong characters being there and. This guy having this look, it makes you think about. Um, it makes you think about was this prepared from Fujitora's side already that he said, mm, okay, uh, 50 years ago or 20 years ago, when this whole Kaido story happens, he's not strong enough to help Wano. So, can you say that maybe 
this was a plan all along and he left already Wano. He left Wano to basically uh, be able to fix the marines and fix Wano and fix everything because well that's what a good, a good guy will do basically. Uh, you want to improve the world you will join the marines or the police force uh, and, and to make the world a, a better world and everything. No, But in this case for him was he aware already of things that happened because now we have this reveal of the Guru say this Venus Juro guy, the Samurai Gandhi that everyone says. We have this guy as well uh, being uh, having this look, this one look, and having uh, what seems to be a Kitetsu first generation sword. And are these guys related somehow to the story? Uh, not in, in like family related, but because of Wano, uh, have they, for example, Fujitora uh, discovered a lot of the story, uh, the real story, and that's why he wants to change things, that he what he's standing to everyone, and, and being basically a, a, a reckless marine, because they, they could kill him anytime, uh, because doing these things. Let's just, to, I'm going to need to add here the browns. Okay. And the cane here. This is not a cane. Well, it is a cane, but this is basically his sword that he has hidden here. Okay. Have to add here some. Don't worry about the the line work in a bit. When we have the color, we will fix it a little bit. Yeah, like this. So as I was saying, what if this guy already knowing what happened in Wano, that the government didn't do anything to help them, even if they are not affiliated, he said, okay, I am just gonna have my long-term plan, I'm gonna become a marine, a good marine, I'm gonna change the marine from inside, I'm gonna help Wano, I'm gonna help everyone, I'm gonna destroy the Shishibukai system, I'm gonna stand by the good kings, and whenever I have the chance, I will stand up to the gover to the Gorusei, to the government, to the high members of the government as well. And then we have him at the moment now doing all these things because he is not afraid. He he's strong, okay, and we see Garp being strong a lot. And, and but Garp wasn't able on his era to stand like this. If Garp is good and uh, as a, as a good person, as a good character. He didn't change. He, he he kind of understood, like Roger, there is a mystery there with Roger, that why would they team up to help the Gorusei in, in God Valley, in, to help the Ten Rebitos in God Valley and everything. They need to reveal this, because that's what's going to make the difference between Garp and Fujitora. And this, uh, I think we need to have it revealed soon, and Fujitora needs to be involved in the story. Uh, not in front of Garp, I don't think he will go with Blackbeard Pirate, etc., uh, where uh, where Garp is at the moment, but yes, in the Egghead Saga, uh, before the Egghead Saga is finished, they need to reveal more info about Fujitora, we, because all of these connections I'm trying to make, and uh, yeah, so feel free to tell me uh, in the comments uh, what I was saying, uh, what do you think about Fujitora? Uh, what do you think is his uh, next step? Uh, what is he gonna be doing? Because we see this this uh, this duality in the character, like being good, uh, but you know he's fighting in, in uh, basically in uh, he fights the flamingo in the rosa, he fights the flamingo, he fights Sabo, he fights Luffy, he fights Zorro, he fights everyone there, and you don't see what is he doing clearly. And then there is a very important thing as well, because he's already reveal, reveal, uh, revealing, yeah, and uh, rebelling. We see this whole revolutionary army attack that happens in Marijua. I know I'm talking about a thousand things at the same time, but I have so much information about Fujitora that, that, that is so difficult to, to kind of express. Why Fujitora in Marijua? after the reverie, when Sabo and company, the Revolutionary Army, attack to release Kuma and to release the the, the other slaves and everything, there is a moment that Fujitora 
Fugitores Fighting Karasu, the crow looking guy in, in the Revolutionary Army. And there is this moment that uh, they stop fighting and he helps the slaves to escape. And Rukugo, the, the forest guy, the other admiral, sees this and he gets very upset and they start fighting as well. So there is this clash of titans in, 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 this, in this moment as well, these two guys. Why would Fujitora uh, move, make a move in front of everyone there, in front of the revolutionary army, in front of all the slaves, and in front of a colleague of his that he knows it's a radical and it's a follower of Akainu? Why he would do that? Uh, I think he started the revolution. He started the revolution doing this act and after the before the reverie, talking with Cobra that he is, is killed because of this conversation, because what he knows, he's killed after. So, because all of these things, uh, he basically uh, started a revolution on his own, uh, not openly. If you see what he's doing, he's talking in secret with Cobra and Riku to his needs as 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 a as a revolutionary not a revolutionary army person but as a revolutionary person who wants to change the world on his own way uh, in secret in the background he is basically uh, talking to the ones that they, he thinks may support him Riku Cobra talk with them so the info is passed and they can put it with the kings and then he gets what he wants, the abolition of the Chichibukai. And then rebellion happens, revolutionary attacks, they are in the middle of everything. He sees the opportunity to save a bunch of people, uh, innocent people, and prisoners of the world government. And even if he has to stand up against an admiral fellow, he stands up, he fights there. He knows he can't have repercussions because his rank, his, his rank in the Marines at the moment and uh, that's what Smoker wants, that's what Smoker needs at the moment, and he does it. So that's what I say as well, that uh, this whole time Fujitora and Smoker were supposed to be one character, and whatever happens to Fujitora and whatever happens to Smoker, all of them are connected, are very, very tightly connected, and both of them very tightly connected to, uh, to Vegapunk. As I said, who is the character that we see talking about uh, Vegapunk and SSG and the Seraphims all the time? Fujitora. Who is the character that we have uh, contacting Vegapunk uh, after Punk Hazard, being in the, saga, in the Punk Hazard saga and then contacting him for, um, to save the kids, to help the kids uh, that they are poisoned by, uh, by this gigantification, this... Uh, uh, Caesar Clown, Gigantification, Smoker. So, this whole new world, that's why we have the feeling that the Smoker is not being shown up much at the moment, because he kind of distributed the attention and distributed the role of the good guy in two characters. Smoker, because we have him original, and then Fujitora, that is the high rank. Okay, this is looking very nice. We are almost finished. I'm just adding some black details. You know that when I add some black details, we are yeah, almost almost done with the drawing. I made up a little bit more of purple here to cover these lines. This is one of those things that I don't think Oda, or maybe when we have One Piece finished, maybe Oda says uh, things like this. Yeah, yeah. I basically thought about this character being one person, but because the story gave me this and that, I decided to go one step further and create a double, a double. This is like in, in Naruto and Kagebunshin or something that is, you know, two characters and they are basically the same character, the good marine that can be doing different things at the same time. I think uh, uh, Egghead Saga as well is this saga, same character doing things at the same time, like Vegapong, he's seven characters because 
he needs to do and he needs to be doing things in seven different places at the same time seven seven six seven different things at the same time and i explain all of this as well a little bit in the, my vegapunk video that i will put here on the top as well so you can have a have a listen and tell me tell me what's your opinion about it <coughs> and yeah but for today is basically uh, the Fujitora video that I wanted to do now that we are in break uh, I think is very interesting because it's one of those characters that we are gonna see soon it is one of the characters that we love and we wanna see what they are doing and uh, why Oda is not giving much more about them at the moment and uh, I think it's basically because uh, Oda needs to combine them uh, and the acts that they are going to be doing, they are going to be related. And this, I take, for me as a character designer, as a storyteller as well, I take this info uh, very importantly from the conversation that he has with Smoker in, in the ship after the Rosa. And they are talking about this. And, and uh, Smoker is basically talking about what you are doing is... Uh, very crazy, he's very brave, and, and that's basically, he gives you to understand that that's what he would like to do, he would love to do, and he's looking for the range. So, in that moment, that until there, you don't have a connection with these two characters, you don't have much connection with these two characters, so we, we find a middle ground point there, and it is very interesting, because from now on, from, since that conversation, I think, those two guys are connected. And everything that one is going to be doing is going to be a repercussion for the other one. And uh, this is kind of a Fujitora moment of, of saying, uh, <coughs> uh, Smoker, do whatever you have to do, I will take out the consequences. Like a Smoker, when they are leaving Punk Hazard, it says to Tashigi, this Tashigi. Uh, no, that's after, after Arabasta says, do whatever you need to do in Arabasta, uh, and I will take out the consequences. And, and he disappears again for, for some time, because he probably is finding this type of people. This I think uh, Smoker is tightly connected to, to Aokichi and Fujitora. And we know this because we see this as well, who is the character who saves him from uh, uh, Do Flamingo in, at the end of Pong Hazard, Aokichi. Kusan, in this case, Kusan. Uh, so that's uh, another connection uh, there. Let's do these bits. Like this, very nice. The drawing is looking very nice. I'm more focusing in, in, in the talk, in the in the kind of description of um, of Uchitora more than in, 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 in the in the drawing, but it's looking very nice. <coughs> One thing I didn't mention uh, is his power of gravity, sort of. It's kind of the sh is Shiki, similar type of power. Shiki is more about gravity, he is more about pulling and pushing and attracting things. The same concept, but uh, in different range of power, basically. And I, I haven't seen myself that it's been confirmed in an SBS that he ate, he ate the, this type of fruit. But uh, online there is information, okay, okay, there is this fruit that he ate. But I read One Piece many times and I read many things, um, you know, online, in the mangas, in SBSs, in, in magazines, etc. And I never seen so far yet Oda mentioning that he ate a fruit. And I'm starting to think, well, I'm not starting to think, I, I, I think that he's not the one who has the fruit. I think the sword is the one with the fruit, and that is done with Vegapunk. Uh, technology and that that is why as well he has so much knowledge about Vegapunk, so much knowledge about what projects is he working on and in this case uh, this whole aval is uh, the, the Seraphins and that is why 
he is so pro Vegapunk because probably he knows all, not all, but he knows some, some things of Vegapunk and how rebellious Vegapunk is, and they have business. That that's why I think it's gonna be going forward. I think it will be revealed that Vegapunk and and Fujitora. They have some business together as well, and they want to overcome this. Uh, I think Vegapunk yeah, found uh, some loyal people that he could trust in the in the government, and in this case, Fujitora is one, and gave them tools to do this. In this case, I think the sword that he uses, it has the fruit. It has the fruit. It is not Fujitora, because he, every time that you see him fighting, uh, or using the power, he points the sword somewhere and then something happens. The meteor happens, the hole in the ground happens, the gravity effect in everyone happens. So every single time he is using uh, uh, the sword as a medium to uh, interact with the power. And I wouldn't say this is relevant at all for the story uh, of... Uh, of uh, for the main story, but I think it is relevant to reveal the connection between both characters. That it is not only that he knows Vegapunk because Vegapunk works for the government. I think it goes beyond that. Uh, I think it may need to be revealed afterwards that he has a connection like Kuma, uh, Borsalino, Sentomaru, and I think he may not be in this found family. But he uh, is very, very, very good friend with Vegapunk. And Vegapunk provided him with weapons, with tools, so he can he can uh, aid a, a revolution, a change. Uh, Dragon and Vegapunk, they said, okay, we are not going to work together. I'm going to go with the Marines because you don't have money. and I need to use their, their facilities. I need to use their technology. And Dragon is like, oh, okay, whatever. And then within this group, he found people like, in this case, Isho, in this case, uh, Admiral Fujitora, uh, to support this. And probably that was the, the plan the whole time uh, before he became, before he became Admiral and everything. He said, okay, you have the potential to do this, this and that, and, and let's do it. Uh, at the moment, uh, I am already with connection with... Um, with Kizaru in there, but Kizaru is blurred and, and he is too loyal to the government to do the changes that we need to to have done here. And uh, it may be it may be one of those things to reveal. Uh, all of this goes within the theory, within the realm of the theory that we are talking today. And uh, it wouldn't surprise me if uh, if if this is revealed. Uh, other character that we see with uh, with uh, connection to Vegapunk is Mr. Four, the dog Lasso that he has. Uh, Lasso is this uh, bazooka dog, and uh, it's a bazooka who ate the Inu Inu Nomi model, whatever dog it is, a golden retriever or, or whatever type of dog it is. And that is a Vegapunk mate. That is the first time that we that we hear from from uh, uh, from the One Piece story. Uh, this character Vegapunk exists. Okay. Uh, and what do we have there as well? What connections we are making here in this video today? Who is Mister Four working for? Mister Four is working for Crocodile, and Crocodile is sworn enemy of Smoker. I think. That's his goal. He, Smoker, will end up capturing Crocodile at the end of the story. That's his goal. And who are the characters that we are saying that probably Smoker and Fujitora, from the very beginning, they were one character. They were Smoker. For five years a story. But then the story got big. The story got longer. And then Oda said, Ooh, I'm going to make another inter interesting character, good like him, doing other things. But it's going to be basically the same base. And then he started connecting the Vegapunk things that he wanted to, to probably do with Smoker with this other guy. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Grand Line guy, a New World guy. 
and they're gonna be parallel working until they collide and they help each other. That's what I think, and that's what I see as as a, as a creator as well as as a as a storyteller, as as a person who loves One Piece and and, and loves to see the the unexpected in the story. And that would be a very unexpected thing as a, as a reader for me to uh, to see. Again, I don't think uh, this will be revealed. Uh, maybe when One Piece is finished, like like uh, as I said before, some comments can be said by Oda, like, oh, actually, yeah, I made this guy thinking about this other guy. Or I made the kid uh, thinking about Bellamy's uh, trajectory in the story. And, uh, and yeah. That is not that is not a theory or nothing. This is just some comments, some thoughts I have about uh, character creation in, in, in One Piece and character parallelism in One Piece. But um, basically, as I said, the theory for today is that um, Fujitora is going to arrive to Egghead at the very, 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 very end of Egghead together with Smoker. Smoker is going to be the, the cliffhanger, the, the, the spectacular thing. Uh, I think appearing at the end of Egghead, making a massive smoke screen uh, in Awakening and opposing to the Gorusei, opposing to the Marines uh, and probably a Smoker takes care of the Vice Admirals and, and the battleships and ta talk to Tashigi and Bluegrass and Dol and all these guys and when the Gorusei is gonna go for him and then we have this guy Fujitora showing up and say hey Hold your horses there. Uh, and he's under my protection. And whatever you need to talk with him, you need to talk with me first. So putting the rank there and saying, you are not what uh, we were expecting from you. And revolution. Revolution from within. And, you know, a Smoker starts it. Fujitora continues it. It makes sense. It makes sense for me. It is like... A, Funny thing to do, there is no more time left in the story for us to see Fujitora playing around, to see a Smoker playing around. So whatever is going to happen, it needs to happen now, soon. Or Egghead or Elbaf needs to, needs to be around that. I think I'm just going to add, because I made it a little bit too white here in the center. I always like to leave white spaces, like I will live here, but yeah, I think we are done. Let's mark the cut on the face. Fujitora is a good guy. He is ashamed that he took his eyes and he is very happy to m m meet Luffy in the Rosa. And he's a good guy. So here we have this is the bit Biedel 23. David Biedel 23, you can say it as you want, and this is the Mandragon's Cave. I hope you like the video, I hope you like the drawing and these thoughts that I'm throwing here, like a thunderstorm, like a brainstorm of, of uh, Fujitora and, and good marines. And yeah, feel free to comment, subscribe, share with your nakamas, and as I always say lately as well, if you don't have anyone to talk about One Piece, just throw me a message there on the, on the YouTube channel. Put it in the comments, write your theory, and as soon as I see it, I will I will reply and, and we can share thoughts and, and, and try to find together the One Piece and everything. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!